Pacheco. Start off with this basic setup. Place a UFO in the area. This will be our player character. Go to stick move and L up and down. Then go then attach the up and down to the forward and backwards. It doesn't really matter where the stick goes though. So. Now our UFO can move forward and backwards. But they can't move re left and right. Go to stick movement L left and right. Awesome! Now we have a moving UFO nude on. But it's not a first person game. Go to objects, game screen slash camera, and then go to camera. Move the camera slightly above the UFO, but it doesn't really matter where you put the camera. I'm just gonna put it here so the pro so the program layout is neat. Attach the bottom part of the camera to the UFO node on. Wait a second, it's a bit laggy. Make sure it's not destructible, destructive. And make sure it's not visible either. So the camera doesn't clip into the UFO. Brilliant. Now we have our UFO node on. Awesome. Go to objects, simple objects, and box. Build a big room for the player to go in and explore and find the hidden treasure. Make sure all of these aren't movable. None of these objects are going to be movable. And don't worry if they overlap. That will be absolutely just fine. Great, we have a little bit of a maze, but it's not looking very scary. Go to world. From here you can choose which time of day it is. Go to world appearance, tiles. My maze is going to be based on jammy donuts. So, so I really like from the Simpsons, um, how, ho how Homer Simpson likes eating donuts. Then go to world lightning night Ooh, looking good and if you don't think that's good enough and you want to draw your own objects go to objects special objects and then texture i've already got a texture object from here you can draw whatever you want mine's going to be a jammy donut maze So I'm just going to place a load of sprinkles everywhere. But obviously you're, you're going to do a better job than me. Because I'm a bad artist. <laughs> awesome. Then attach the lower... Attach the lower part of the texture object to the world. Looking good. Shouldn't the player be able to tilt its head because it's a VR game? Well, go to input, stick movement, R, up and down. Makes you can also flip this over. So here, it's like a 2D Mario game. Imagine you're playing a 2D Mario game, but here, it's like we're flying through the sky like we're a bird in the sky looking down below us. Attach the up and... Grab the camera settings. Up and down. Cool. Now the player can tilt his head upwards. Go to stick movement, R, then left and right. Then go to horizontal. Ooh! Awesome! 
Now we need to work on our fully organized awesome maze. Build your special room like this. Also make sure the UFO is upside down or this tutorial will not work whatsoever. Awesome. In for our maze, we might add some puzzling bits where the player needs to guess where to go. You might hide some secrets from bone series, but I'm not going to go through all the details in this video. I'll, I'll only be going through the important ones. Cool. Now we can tilt our head and choose the direction to go. Then move the sticks and left and right up and down to the side. Awesome. Move the object box over here. Now, we're probably going to need some jump scares in our level. While not much people are a fan of jump scares, they're great for horror games. Go to touch them. And then check UFO, just UFO. Then go to its settings. Make sure it's not visible or it'll look very cringe and you'll see its hitbox. Make sure the player will have to touch it so that way it's very wide. Next one, and we're gonna add a creepy critter. Ghosts are one of the main creepy critters, but you can choose whichever creepy critter you like. Then you see this over here. Move visible to touch and count. Then make the touch sensor really big. Okay then. Make sure the area is wide enough. For the player to have a fun look around. Okay. Then go to fancy objects, fancy objects, other fancy objects, I mean rectangular fancy objects, treasure chests. This will be the end of the level. Here's the full level. Well, there isn't any scary music or sound effects, so go to output, no, output, play sound, play instrument, then go to funny, spooky. Okay. Wow, we've at, we've worked so far on this game, and we finally did it. Thanks for all of you for paying attention. Okay. I am so funny. <laughs> so other people from the community have made their own horror games and I'm going to be checking out all of them. First one isn't a horror game but it's Balloon World from Mario Odyssey. Oh, if I want to find one.
Then I have to search in the ID. I'm gonna hide my balloon. So for anyone who wants to check out my balloon ID, here's the ID. You should definitely check it out. Okay, to the next game. Ooh. <clears throat> Nintendo's Garage. Let's see what this is. Oh, come on. I wanna play. I wanna play, bruh. Play. Oh. Oh. Press R or touch the screen. I'm pressing R. ZR. Oh, perspective, of course. Okay. Oh, I just noticed there's a dog. There's a dog, bruh. One of the best things about Game Builder Garage is you can look into the code and not understand a single bit of it. That's such a good game. Love it. Okay, on to the next game. This one's an actual horror game. It's called Horror of the Sewers, but it's a bit scary. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna look away. Look away. I'm not looking at it. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can climb up there. Having fun, yes. That's a bit spooky. <laughs> oh, which way should I go? This way or this way? I'm gonna go for this way. But my brain's fried, so I'm gonna get it wrong. What happens if you run off the cliff? Oh, that's really smart. They prevented us from running off the cliff. Oh, it's a door. I'm scared. I'm I'm actually really scared. Alright. I'm out of here. <laughs> that was just like the scariest thing ever. Friday night funking. SNP. Skid and pump. I don't know how I'm doing this. I'm I'm just pressing random buttons. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Rowdy Jefferson from Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Oh, that's horrible noise. That's Rowdy Jefferson. <laughs> oh my god. Homer Blaster. <laughs> I can shoot out donuts. I might come back to that scary game later. Oh, I can't. That it took me a while to make that hitbox, so I couldn't add it in. Sadly. Nom nom nom. Press R to exit. Isn't there a score? Oh, I pressed R. You could have pressed R the whole time. Brain fried. Beat saver. Oh, that's my game. I'm not going to play it. FPS horror game. This is the original one. It's less scary. So if you're a little kid, then you might look away. I might not send this on YouTube, kids. This might be YouTube adults instead. Ah! It's a ghost. Guys, look away. Oh! <laughs> it's a scary man. Oh, my Among Us. How'd that get in there? You know what? I'm keeping that Among Us. I'm keeping it. Do you want to open? I can't open it. I'm going to have to restart. Tedious. Yep. I have no idea where the exit is. I'm, 
I can't see anything. I literally can't see anything. Oh, did I win? Oh, now I can see everything. Pog. Oh my god. Super Sonic Apples. This is a level made by me. It says buy Skidow just to say. Help me find my five apples. Nice try. If you're gonna play this game afterwards, then um, I recommend that you um, skip a bit because you you probably want to find the hidden apples yourself. And it's funny because when I jog, he jogs. Oh yeah, eight to jump, I forgot. There's one over here. What the heck? What are they doing in the sky? There's apples, bruh. This is cursed. Cursed. It's like... <clears throat> it's like Mario Odyssey, how you need to collect power moons and you can tilt the screen. Oh, these are how much I've collected. This is the most hidden one. But if you look here, you're probably it's gonna probably gonna spoil it. So if you get the ID <laughs> What on earth? I'm taking a picture of that. What? No. How did you get in there? Hack my game. <laughs> this is so funny. I need to send this to one of my friends. <laughs> is he movable? Yeah, I think he is. It just somehow hacked in there, just like my Among Us did. Oh, wait. Oh, here. I don't remember. It's the last sapple. So if I collect. Oh, did I miss one out? I remember... There isn't any... Oh, I remember. But if I press... If I press plus, then I have to reset. <gasps> did I soft lock? Oh, great. I can wall jump. Fun fact. When you as a person node on, you can wall jump, apparently. Maybe it just randomly appeared. I don't know. This is based on the game Sonic. It's Murray. If there's a Murray, Murray is Mario, Luigi is Ludgy, um, to Toad is Turd, Toddette is Toddy, and Bowser is Bozo. <laughs> oh, I remember, it's near the hills. If it's near one of these green hills, you have to subscribe, it's a deal. Okay. Okay. Is that it? I remember me- Oh, Planet Kirby, no. I got- to admit that sign is very small. so that is it for this video scale squad if you guys enjoyed please consider hitting this sub subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video